and welcome to newsletter number 21. Here I have a selection of today's newspapers and the headlines emphasize that we live in rough and uncertain times. Companies are going insolvent, unemployment is on the rise and economic growth is in the doldrums. So what can we all do to ensure that ZZ2 is successful in the execution of its tasks and responsibilities and to prevent it from ending up in a headline like impairments knock earnings by almost 45 percent. We can look for wisdom in our idioms and how to live by them. You might say idioms. What do idioms have to do with the success of ZZ2? That's a good question. An idiom is an expression in any language through which a certain truth is illustrated. It's a distillation of many ideas and thoughts in one saying which originated over many years, even centuries. For example, to hold your head above water. This tells you how to survive difficult times and problems. Another one, if you don't dare, you won't succeed. This tells you that if you don't grab an opportunity, you'll never achieve. Here at ZZ2, we use our own idioms every day to manifest our way of working and thinking. Today we will discuss seven of our idioms to illustrate how and why we strive to be the benchmark of success in agriculture. From the mouth of our CEO, the first one. Net so can a mens nou ander idiom ook op bytrek wat ons mens wees beinvloed. Een van die bestes vir my, vir al in die tydvak waar ons vandag is, is gemik op echte prestatie. Maar na gau reis wat, haar momelie val. Dit beteken hoorings wat die vastplaat. Horns that are pasted on will fall off. It means that if you make false promises, you will not be able to keep them. At some point, that promise will break. If you make false promises, you damage your name with the people that you are doing business with. Your pasted on horns have fallen off. To prevent this, we deliver high quality agricultural products to clients in search of value. Our practices optimize resources that are founded on principles that are ethical, environmentally friendly and economically sustainable. This is not a false undertaking. Food health is our promise. Now for the second one. It's a nice one that can save you from disaster. Osibine Pili Moropa this means, don't count the chickens before they are hatched. Don't dance before the music starts. There's always hard work and precise planning that goes into every new project. Don't create false expectations. Every day, the price of our products is discovered according to supply and demand. You can never predict that a product will sell at a good price. You're selling eggs that have not been laid. We're therefore sensitive to our clients' requirements and open to new and innovative ideas. Once the band strikes up, then ZZ2 starts dancing. Now for idiom number three. And it means, if you're unable to work together as a team, we won't be able to achieve our goal. A pride of lions that don't hunt together can't even bring down a sick buffalo. Hunting together means working together. In real terms, teamwork. To succeed, everyone must know what is expected and how it should be executed. We realize our aims and our economic, social and environmental responsibilities with management standards and innovative thinking. This enables our workers to execute their duties diligently, which raises productivity and ensures growth of income. Every member of ZZ2 has a role to play. We also create beneficial and sound relationships with our clients, so the teamwork benefits all. Now, this is an exceptional one and therefore so important. 
What does a hyena have to do with ZZ2? Translated in English, you can never serve two masters at the same time. An hyena contemplating more than one option will hurt its back. In other words, don't bite off more than you can chew. Make very sure that you have the ability to plan, execute and achieve your aims. We strive to do the right things right. Our brand guarantees products produced through scientific and technological processes based on principles of integrity and transparency. We regularly have strategic sessions to evaluate whether our planning and results correlate and if we have to make adjustments to keep our processes productive and healthy. When you use an idiom, you're emphasizing many truths. A point, for example, to turn a blind eye to obvious fraud. This means if you don't keep a tight ship, you will land on the rocks. If you spare the rod, you spoil the child. This means you have to keep a tight rein or your ship will end up on the rocks. Therefore, you have to measure whether your undertakings are on the right course or not. And if not, you must start asking questions and if the questions and answers don't balance, you must take action quickly. Our high standards of strategic planning and management discipline are non-negotiable. It's really, it can be used as a, in a number of ways as a, as a Therefore, we realize our aims of economic value creation according to our management standards. Our next idiom speaks for itself. You can't dance on one leg. But that is not to say that people won't try and fail for the whole world to see. Our aim is to supply our clients with products of the highest quality. Therefore, in our chain of activities from beginning to end, each department, each individual must perform shoulder to shoulder to achieve this aim. Right through our system, we have standards and goals to make sure our chain has no weak links. We make use of multifunctional problem solving and implementation techniques. This results in that what ought to work does work. In this short journey through our production processes, you can see why we are proud of our end results. We dance on all Morning, eggs. Have lovely tomatoes. Come and get up for some of you. Yeah. Uh, three for 20 rand. Oh, yeah, three for 20. That's the sweetest taste in the, the normal tomato. Okay. And these other colored ones actually make the salad look yeah. nice. And now for the last one. Shaboyo Togatrove, Gumuriano. This is a very important idiom, but it only means that if you don't respect it in a country, people can use the shabu to go to the kraal. If you don't have a respectful interaction, you can go to the kraal. At ZZ2, we respect each other. We work together as a team. Our guiding principles are prudence, justice, fortitude and moderation. In fact, the respect is the mother of success. Otherwise, when we are working, the junior must respect the seniors and the seniors respect the juniors. By so doing, we will be leading to the future. Respect means we can build together and move on. When we respect each other, we will fit like in a puzzle. Each of us will know where they fit and we will be able to take um, all of us to a new height. Respect means you follow the rules. Everyone's job is, is important to this company. Even a cleaner 
is important because we have to keep our environment clean. So everyone in this company is important, meaning we have to respect each other. Respect at ZZ2 means being considerate of other people's opinions. Respect doesn't need to be whether you're old or young. We must, help, we must respect each other, no matter the age, no matter what level or the position you are at. We must respect each other. These seven idioms form our backbone and compass so that we each know why and what we have to achieve to keep ZZ2 as our home. Now for my own idiom. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled and walk straight. Goodbye.